real icon is that our society is really in a big pressure, you're right on that. We are three years in strong austerity measures and we cannot tolerate this anymore. But, and this is something that it was uh, really amazing and for me, the Greek people was very mature and the Greek people doesn't want any more trouble. Everybody in this country wants us to exit the crisis and everybody understands that these money that are coming from the Troika are the only money that were offered to Greece. This the, is the holy truth. The consensus in Brussels and Frankfurt seems to be that you will need another bailout because of the burden of debt we've talked about. It may be 11 billion euros in the short term. Some people think it'll be much more in the longer term. But for the Troika to deliver that, they are clearly going to ask for new austerity measures. There's talk of you having to eliminate your state defence sector altogether, close it down. There's also talk that you'll have to start allowing banks to foreclose on people who are behind on their mortgages for their houses. Are you prepared to take this next step in the endless austerity? Yesterday I was with the Troika for almost three hours. We had a big talk and for the health sector and for the politics in Greece and for the economy of Greece. And I explained them that we cannot take any more horizontal austerity measures because the society will not tolerate with them. I'm very sure that they understood it very clear and they knew it. So I'm totally uh, convinced that they will not ask from this government any more horizontal austerity measures. What they really want to see is greater progress to the uh, reforms. And of course, as you said before, the privatization well, program, which we are behind. Minister, uh, I'm sure you've just watched what's happened in Germany, just like me. And Angela Merkel, fresh from her electoral success, uh, says there'll be absolutely no change in German policy toward the bailouts, toward European strategy. And of course, that means the Germans are still going to be de very demanding of Greece. And I just quote to you the words of your former party leader, when you were in a more right-wing party than you are now, mm -hmm. Georgis Karatsaferis, who said, we can survive outside the EU, we cannot survive under the German jackboot. Do you share See, his feelings? No, of course, that's why I left his party, because I said that what he was saying was nonsense. Let us uh, give some clear talk. Angela Merkel and German people are great friends of Greece. They have given us the last three years more than 60 billion euros. I don't know anybody else who have given us more money. Uh, I, I would like to say for you British people to have given us more, but you, haven't, you didn't do. So uh, we, we understand Angela Merkel because she has to say to her people and to her taxpayers why she gave so much money to the Greeks. But they must have no concern. We, the Greek people, are decent people and we always pay our debt. We will give our, our ma the money back to the Germans when we can and all this period of crisis will make our friendship be stronger. We have, have no doubt about that. All the people that thought and maybe bet that Greece would exit Eurozone and Greece would be bankrupt totally, they lost their money. And I have to say to the British people that now they are here, they hear us, they have to be totally sure that Greece is and will still be member of the Eurozone and for the decades that will come.